Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Wasatch, I'm Ezra Heckman, and I'm your student body president. And I'm Parker Loosely, your president. Shut up. Redo. Hey, guys, Lost and Found table is piling up. Please check the Lost and Found table outside the office. Those Yeti lunchboxes, Hydroflask water bottles, and played hoodies will be taken away at the end of the month, and that would be a sham. We will be voting for next year's SBOs and 7th grade reps tomorrow, so check out the posters in the cafeteria. Attention 7th graders, your Wasat 7th grade team is pleased to announce the return of our annual 7th grade field trip on Tuesday, April 19th. This year, we'll be headed to This is a Place Historic Monument, and we're excited to see you all there. On Monday, your math teachers would have handed out permission slips that must be signed in order for you to come to the field trip. The field trip will be from 9.30 a.m. that day until 10 p.m. So if you want a lunch, you'll need to pack it or you can order one on your permission slip. If you turn your permission slip in to your math teacher by Friday, March 25th, you'll be part of our early birds and get a treat. The last day to order a lunch is Monday, April 11th. And that is the last day to get your permission slip is Friday, April 15th. Also, we're looking for parent volunteers to help chaperone the event and their ticket will be covered. If your parents or guardians are interested in coming with us that day, be sure to fill out the form in the back. Again, we're so excited to be able to go and do these field trips again, and we're looking forward to see you all there. The winners for the honor roll movie is Shrek Emperor's New Groove, the B movie. Come vote for this week for the one you want to see for the honor roll movie. The wrestling team will be in action today after school, so please come cheer us on to victory. See you there. Thanks to all thanks to all who are making friendship bracelets for children in Africa during lunchtime. The table will be set up all this week in the cafeteria. Once you finish your bracelet, you can put it in the collection box in the main office. The box will be there until April 10th. And now for a video about this awesome project. Our public relations officer, Ashley, would like to collect pictures from clubs, sports teams, and other activities from this year. If you have any, please coordinate with Ashley to contact Ms. Taylor in room 201. If you are an 8th grader, please note the group picture day is coming. It will be on March 31st. If you would like to purchase your group picture, the flyers are in the office. You can play, pay online or you can bring the money on that day to give to the photographer. And now for an announcement about the first ever Wasatz Art Show. It's the first annual Art and Film Night. Thursday, March 31st, from 6 to 8. Come see all of the great art from both semesters. And original content. Over an hour's worth, played back-to-back -back in the auditorium. Come be one of the glamorous people, and we will see you there. And now for a College of the Month video. Our son Lucas is five years old, and... Keeping him alive and healthy requires us to constantly monitor him. He has juvenile diabetes, and the days can be pretty challenging, but the nights can be the scariest part. I've heard horror stories from other families of children dying in the middle of the night because their blood sugar has gone too low. So since he was diagnosed at 12 months old, we've slept with him every night and woken up throughout the night to check on him to make sure he's safe. It's hard and it's exhausting for us, but I would do anything to change places with him. At the University of Notre Dame, chemical engineering professor Matthew Weber is developing technology that will prevent drops in blood sugar before they become life-threatening. 
Currently, there is technology that can monitor blood sugar and medications that can reverse the onset of low levels. But the challenge of doing both of these tasks falls to parents or diabetics themselves. And the stakes are life and death. Professor Weber's gel-based technology would sense blood sugar levels dropping and automatically release the needed amount of a glucagon treatment. The research being done at Notre Dame would mean the world to us as parents. I mean, just to have something there that can protect him if I can. We want him to be safe, but we want him to do what he wants. I'm sorry, you sometimes get over. Okay. But we want him to be a happy little boy. Just want him to have a normal life and not have to constantly be concerned about what diabetes might do to him. The University of Notre Dame asks, what would you fight for? Fighting to control diabetes. We are the Fighting Irish. And now for the Student of the Month presentation. Okay. Hi, I'm Madam Miner, and we are here to announce the Students of the Month for the month of March. And our first student of the month is sixth grader Caleb Clark. So Caleb, come on down. Caleb, what is your favorite class at school? History. History. And who's your teacher? Mr. Hamilton. Mr. Hamilton. He's awesome. Congratulations. And um, we'll have fun at Cafe Rio. Okay. Our next student of the month is sixth grader Rohan Opta. Rohan, come on up. Um, okay, Rohan, tell me about your pet. I have a dog. Okay. And what's their name? Her name is Hazel. Hazel, and what kind of dog is Hazel? She's a mix of both of dogs. Very cool. Well, congratulations and have fun at Cafe Rio. Our next student of the month is sixth grader Rachel Stewart. So Rachel, come on over. Rachel, uh, tell me about your favorite class at school. Um, I like PE. PE, what do you like about it? It's just I love doing sports. Very cool. Well, congratulations on being student of the month. Okay, our next student of the month is seventh grader Alon Vori. Okay, Alon, tell me about your um, your pet. Uh, I have a cat and my sister has a snake. Okay, so what's your cat's name? Kushkush. Uh, Kushkush, that's awesome. Um, well, congratulations, and I hope you have fun at Student of the Month. Okay, our next seventh grader is Sophie Winterton. Sophie, come on over. Sophie, tell me about your pet. Um, I have a dog and a bird. Okay, what's your dog's name? Uh, Luna. And your bird? Rosie. Do they fight with each other? No. No. Amazing. Well, congratulations. Congrats on being student of the month. Our next student of the month is eighth grader Elsa Bringard. Elsa, come on over. Tell me what you like to do after school. I like to swim on a swim team. Very cool. Do you swim for Skyline? Yeah. Excellent. Um, congratulations. Okay, our next student of the month is eighth grader John Liu. John. Tell me about your favorite class at school. Uh, I like band class. What instrument do you play? I play a net. Very cool. Congratulations on being student of the month. And our last student of the month this month is eighth grader Allison Reyes. Allison, tell me, what's your favorite class at school? Uh, cooking class. Cooking. Do you have, um, who's your teacher for that? Miss Evans. Miss Evans. Miss Evans is awesome. Well, congratulations. Congratula congratulations to all of the students of the month, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Thanks for being here. Have a this year. You just got coconut mauled. Share this with all your friends and totally coconut maul them.